Yes, welcome to Albert J T V. Welcome to my subscribers. Um, today I have a special guest all the way from Canada, Liverpool supporter, Ryan. Firstly, congratulations to winning the Premier League because I've not said that to any Liverpool fans so far this season yet. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate the love that Arsenal have for us, so thank you. <laughs> not, not all our supporters are like that, man. <laughs> not, not all of them, especially <laughs> for an AFTV, man. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all banter still. It's all banter, you know? Yeah. That so makes football nice. Yeah, so um, Project Restart. It's very different fortunes. Arsenal started badly. Picked up a little bit. Disappointing result against Tottenham. You had a draw on the weekend against Burnley, I believe. Yeah, one one job. Yeah, how was that how was that game for you? Honestly, Liverpool play really good, we create a lot of chance, but Burnley goalkeeper um makes eight world class save and keep Burnley in the game and Burnley, in my opinion, they are doing okay in the Premier League and they come sit behind the ball and make it difficult for us. Yeah, they and do. we couldn't break them though. We get a lot of chance, the likes of Salah, Mane, Robert Firmino, we eat the post. We get a chance to win that game and unfortunately with job points against Burnley of all people who come to Anfield this season with job points against Burnley. But that's okay. We still have a chance to get over 100 points. And that and that's what leads me on to um the game on Wednesday, man. The big game. Even though the league's done, um, You've got a pretty decent record against Arsenal uh, in the last seven or eight years. I think we've only won twice Arsenal, that is. Two games well, at the Emirates. So your record's pretty good. Well, I like when Liverpool come to the Emirates and smash <laughs> Arsenal. I'm expecting, I expect my team to smash Arsenal at the Emirates. But I like Arsenal, but I just want them to take it easy. All I want is three points and three goals. It, it, that, that's the thing, right? Like, people were saying, like, when they talk about the Arsenal Liverpool game on Wednesday, they're saying, oh, um, Liverpool might put in the kids and they might, you know, the, the attendance that he might not be there. But I don't buy into that because, you know, they've got a German manager and their mentality is built different. Liverpool have still got a target of 100 points, which they, they, I don't, they've never achieved that, in, that I can remember. So it's a big game for Liverpool, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. This game is a must-win game if we want to break the record and if we want to be the best team. We have to smash Manchester City record they, they said two years ago. So yeah. it's important to get 101 points because we win the Premier League, we want to win it in style. We want to have the most points. So that's the aim I think you're going to going for. It's interesting because, I mean, like I said, I'm, I can look at it objectively because I'm an Arsenal fan, but I actually think Liverpool played better last season and not win the league, and then this season they've won it quite easily. Yeah, last season we play under Jurgen Club. People know Liverpool to play this high press and pretty football, but yeah. sometimes in life, yes, ugly. And Jurgen Club came in this season, all what matter for us as Liverpool fans. We've been waiting for to win the Premier League for over 30 years, and finally, yeah. we did not play our best football patches. But we still get the job done. The main goal is to win the Premier League. And we win the Champions League last season. The main goal is to win the Premier League. Last season, we played pretty, pretty good. And we lose against Manchester City. We mm. lose by one point. And that was heartbreaking. And good to see my team bounce back and win the Premier League. Yeah, you're coming into the game of confidence. Like I said, you've got the spring in your step. You won the league. Where Arsenal's fortune is the complete opposite. We lose. There's one game of the season we don't want to lose. And we wanted the players to show up and show a bit of pride, and they bottled it again. Um, yeah, I watched that game again, Tottenham. When they play, to me, when they dominate the game in the second half, I think in the first half it was 50 50, both yeah. Arsenal end to end stuff. And Arsenal get a lot of chance in that game to put away that, put away the chances. But this is what casting Arsenal for the last two games against Leicester City. You guys run Leicester City in the first half on the play. Pretty good, but just cannot put more than one goal in the back of the net. And that's Casas. In the Premier League, he has to get a chance. He has to finish it. He has to score a goal because it's going to um, affect you guys in the second half. And I realize it, Arsenal, for the last couple of games, you guys play very good in the first half. But the energy, when you just can't keep up to play the, um, the way Arteta want you guys to play, I press up in people's face. And that's 
the type of football I think Arteta learned from Pep Guardiola and him bringing it to Arsenal Football Club. You can show, you can see the progress on Arsenal. They probably not seeing the result or getting the points, but individually the player, the system, what type of system Arsenal want to play, you can see that on Arteta. And I am expecting a tough game against Arsenal this Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, with Arteta, it's interesting. I think there are small shoots of improvement, but the problem is, um, one, is the board going to back him? Two, he has to figure out very, very quickly who he can trust. And I don't think that trust is there for a lot of the players. And on top of that, even more so, we were only, I think we're only playing three at the back because he's trying to make us solid because he doesn't trust us to play in the back four. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. He might have a fine way, um, comfortably, because David Lewis, he cannot trust it in a four-man defence. But no. when he plays three at the back, he can see everything. He likes to be free. And he wants to have that guy where build things from back. But David Lewis, trust me, this guy always have a mistake in him. Mustafi, Kalasanat, these guys always have a mistake in him. And Arsenal need a, like a Virgil van Dijk, a commanding centre-back to take them to the next level. Yeah, it's true. I mean, but the thing, the only problem is centre backs are a rare commodity. They're not easy to find, man. And if you could, even if you do find one, and as you see with Arsenal's transfer policy over the years, we don't, we don't, we don't spend very, we spend, we recruit badly, and we spend money on the wrong type of players. And I think, I think in Arsenal too, they, 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 they really need to tie down them player long term contract because when you look at it. They and they and Liverpool run the same type of way, sell them big player and uh, 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 and buy younger player and thing. Well, I've been to Arsenal. They have some very good player, player like Ramsey leaving for free, where Arsenal could easily get five five million for Ramsey yeah. and Cook other player. Then Alex Sanchez, a player that worth more eighty eighty five million dollar. Arsenal has to do better with player running down them contract. Player Aubameyang, the same thing. Lacazette going into him, one year left on them contract. Arsenal has to fix these things because if they don't protect their asset, they're not going to get money. And that is what Liverpool have over Arsenal. They make sure say, they sign player on long-term contract. Look at Philip Coutinho. We get over 100 odd million who can spend and buy a Alice Mick and a Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. Arsenal need to do that. They need to tie down them best player, Pierre Aubameyang. Anybody can come to Arsenal right now. Liverpool can come to Arsenal and say, listen, Pierre Aubameyang one year on them contract. Let's give them 30 million and take them best player. Yeah. Arsenal has to do better. The board and the owner, they have to do better. They have to try to back Arteta in what he has doing. Something, yeah, you're right. Something, I can't disagree. Something needs to change. This has been, an, this has been a reoccurring pattern with Arsenal for a long time. And like you said, um, you're the Liverpool, the complete opposite. You, you've had assets to cash in and not forget people like even Luis Suarez. Yeah, that's true. A lot that's of money for him. So, you, you know, say, at one time, Luis Suarez nearly signed for Arsenal. You don't even get me started on how that happened. I, I don't even want to, I don't want to talk about it. The 40 million and one pound, man. Yeah, remember well, man. But anyway, about, to, um, about Wednesday's game, what's your score prediction saying, man? What are you saying, right? It's going to be a tough game for Liverpool. I hope my Liverpool turn up like they turn up against Crystal Palace. So I am picking Chinil to Liverpool. Wow. You don't think Raven's going to score now? No. I think <laughs> Alice Baker won the golden, the golden, boot, the golden wow. glove. So I think he wants to keep a clean sheet. But the way Arsenal playing, I probably change my mind and say 3 1. 3 1. That's more realistic. <laughs> you're, being, you're being generous, man. You, you've seen how we defend, man. But yeah, I'm not going into the game with any confidence, and why should I? We're, coming, we're playing Liverpool on Wednesday. We've got Man City on the weekend. We're playing two of the best teams in Europe at the moment. We can't defend, so... You know what? I'll be honest. I don't think we're going to win. I think it'd be 3-1 to Liverpool as well. Whoa, whoa, I think whoa, we'll whoa. score, but I don't... We'll, we'll definitely concede. So, yeah, man. It's like... You know what? Like I said, we're 43 points behind Liverpool, you know? That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Arsenal has to do a lot of work coming starting this summer. Yeah. I hope the owner back artist like I look like he know what he's doing. He know what type of football he want to play. Just like Pep Guardiola, just like Jurgen Klopp. We just sometimes I hope the fans, Arsenal fans, they have to really give him time because Liverpool fans give Jurgen Klopp that time. But time, yes, Jurgen Klopp. When Jurgen Klopp 
at Liverpool, he plays some very good football. You can see the improvement. Arteta yeah. has, has to keep keep up that and the fans have to trust in Arteta. He must to play some pretty good games for the fans, buy into him philosophy, to buy into him, yeah. to give him that chance. Because most of the time, the fans, the fans more important to the owner. Because once the fans start to make a lot of noise, yeah. you know that, but they want to sack the coach. It's a good point you made because even I've seen it even a little bit now, right, with some Arsenal fans, they're sort of itching in their seats and our tether and this and our I'm like, come on, man, the guy's only been in charge since what, December? Yeah, December. He's come into a mess. We've not been competitive in the league for years. Even under Wenger, under Emery. Like it's you know, it's like the Arsenal board are asking Arteta to drive a car with no brakes, no steering wheel, no petrol. <laughs> How are you gonna get to A to Z? This is that ridiculous. That it's ridiculous. not going to work, my friend. But yeah, yeah you're, so you're going, we're both going 3-1. Obviously, you're going for your boys, and I, but I can't have any confidence in Arsenal, man. But, man, bro, all I'm going to say to you is um, it's been a pleasure. We need to hook up again. Definitely, definitely. And, Anytime um, you want to hook up, yeah. man, just... What I'll do is I'm going to put your, your, the link for your channel in my description and likewise as well. Okay, no problem, no problem. Keep up the good it's work, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, man. Man. I really appreciate the coming on the show. I appreciate the, um to give me a thought on the game and thing. You know, I really appreciate it, man. So yeah. I just want to tell you. Thank yeah. you very much for coming. Yeah, blessings, bro. We'll speak soon. Okay, thank you. Later. One love, man. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm.